There's a screen on the side of it. Have, what? If you want to be super okay at playing video games, and of course you do, you're going to need a super okay gaming PC with which to wreck fools. Building your own gaming PC is a great way to spend a ton of money and uh, an entire weekend looking at the BIOS screen, trying to figure out why it keeps crashing and nothing is working right. <laughs> but I've been playing PC video games for a real long time. Now, some of the fun events you can look forward to on your PC building uh, adventure uh, include slicing your fingers open on heat sinks all over the place and sharp edges inside your computer. Look at all these sharp edges. Ah! Ooh, you get to do a lot of math. Like, what is my CPU multiplier supposed to be? And when you finally have everything set up to where it's working perfectly, you're like, man, I nailed it. Finally, everything is where it needs to be. Then you get to run a stress test on your computer and find out that, nope, it's all wrong. But I mean, for real, like once you get past all those initial hurdles and it's set up and stable, it's a it's a remix. It's a rewarding and fun thing to know that like you built this thing and you really squeezed every last bit of performance out of it. And you're getting like the most bang for your buck doing it that way by like making those tweaks. But whatever you do, do not tell anyone in your family that you built your own computer because you're going to be their IT department for the rest of your life. Have you tried turning it off and on again? I put this thing together like 10, 12 years ago, something like that. I honestly can't even remember. I can't figure out how to open up the case. Hang on. Never mind. I'm dumb. It just slides off. So this is a GTX 260 uh, graphics card. Like back in the day, uh, if you were really balling, uh, you would put two of the same graphics card into your machine and it really didn't help that much. It was just you know, flexing again. It's all about the flex. And you can tell that this was a beast when it came out because it's got flames on it. It's like against the law to paint flames on something if it's not awesome. Now, up until a couple months ago, this is the gaming rig that I was using. I got the biggest case that I could find. Oh, this is a real dusty one. Oh God. Whoa. Oh, look at all that dust. <laughs> Oh boy, that's bad. But seriously, man, this thing is huge. Like you could fit a child in there if, if you needed to. I mean, I'm not saying that you would, but you might, you know, you could. All right, before I show you my current rig, I need some appropriate music for this because it is a monster. Curved 32 inch screen. Ninth generation Core i7 processor, GTX 2080. Look at that cable management. It's got some memory sticks and it's liquid cooled. And the piece de resistance. There's a screen on the side of it. Have, what? I did not build this one myself. I, you can tell because it actually looks good inside. <laughs> it's not super just a mess. So my current gaming PC is so powerful. I can run Black Ops 4 with ultra graphic settings at twice the resolution of my screen just because just just for flexing on them. Accidental oh. grenade, sorry. <laughs> so welcome to the joy and frustration of uh, PC gaming. Thanks for watching. Uh, for more videos, click here. To find out how to win on KISS, click here. To subscribe, click here. And to listen live to KISS, click here.